everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back with y'all today. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of packages. I did receive something from the trophy room drop. I believe it was for their anniversary. And I also received something from Nike. Uh, a little sneaker that I wanted but it took a turn for the worse. But you will see that later along in the video. But before we get started, I need a couple of things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button. Also sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a new video and let you know when to come back. And please leave a comment in the comment section. Now today we're going to look at the first uh, item that I did get from uh, the trophy room store. I visited this store a couple months ago and I was looking for this item but they didn't have it in the store. Shout out to Maria, the worker in the store, and she gave me some valid information that led to me being able to get the item shipped to my home. So kudos to Maria at the trophy room store. And we gonna look at this item right here. I wanted this uh, red tea, the trophy room tea. If you haven't seen it already, this is, you got the, uh, famous uh michael jordan magic johnson on here from the olympic team and this goes along with the uh the sneaker the trophy room sevens which i do have a video up on the channel you can check that out after you finish watching this video and it did have that shoe in stock while i was in store and maria actually brought me out of size 14 but i neglected to purchase because i didn't think I needed to double up on the ship. And the second now we're going to take a look at is the uh, Air Jordan Retro 14 Landis. Oh gosh. Alright guys, I just got my package via FedEx. This is supposed to be the uh, Air Jordan Retro 14 Landis. This is the box. Still sealed. Just how I Slick side picked up tight once it sold out, but it's still not going for that much on the resale market. But for two hundred and ten dollars, I want my shoe in the best condition possible. Let's look inside. 
Okay, she is size 14. What the hell? And I got a size 14 sticker on here. Okay, boat shoes are size 14. Thank goodness. But I am where I end up in a size 13 sticker on the inside. Y'all see that? That's not a dot. That's a freaking hole. How do these pads keep see? I got a hole in my shoe. Right there. This is a hole. Just took these out the box. Air charge. Retro 14. Lanes. Well. My first pair of lane is that I intended on keeping in this ruin by quality control. I had the mark on the other shoe that I was kind of willing to work that out, but a hole in a shoe, nah, that's a little too much to uh, deal with. I just can't take that. Oh, well, I guess I gotta contact Mr. Nike. Yes, guys, I'm so disappointed that my uh, Laney 14 had a hole in it. Uh, I will be contacting Nike to uh, send them this sneaker back. They probably sold out on the sneakers. Everybody didn't even check, so I guess I won't be able to get these for the tow for retail. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the items that we looked at in today's video, and we're going to roll out. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titan Feet Jack, signing out.